I'm very excited. We're going to give you a little demonstration from our blog, The Best Kept Marketing Secret. And we're actually going to show you how you can use a slide presentation and upload it to what's our best kept secret? Sledgehammer! <laughs> All right, so here we go. Jillian's going to give you a step-by-step -step process on how she sets this up. So the first thing we start at is the slide share screen and we are logged in as Launch for Life. So if you are an individual, you'll set up an individual account, but if you're a company, you can set up a company account. So that's kind of nice. We haven't really spent the time to go in and fill out our profile, so we'll do that later, but that's probably a good thing before you have your whole slide share go live. But anyways, as you can see, when we get to slide share, all we want to do is click on upload we are going to select the file to upload. So what we have to do is go back to our PowerPoint and create the file. So what we're gonna do is create it as a PDF. So we're going to save it to the desktop. So we'll do file, print, PDF, save as PDF, and here's the title. We'll just leave it as is, we can change it later. We go to the desktop and there it is. Here's our PDF. Okay, so now we want to upload this file to SlideShare. So we want to go back to the internet. There's our SlideShare. We'll click upload and we're going to select the file. So our file is on the desktop. Graphics, webinar, PowerPoint, final. Choose. We're uploading it. Well, that was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It's going pretty fast. I think if you were going to do a PowerPoint, you'd want to make sure that you had something that really told the story. Exactly. That this is a time when you don't necessarily need somebody behind it speaking, so the webinar or so the PowerPoint should be doing the talking. And so here we can change the title to whatever we want. So we'll call it graphics. 101. That's two of them. 101. And we can even put the subtitle Marketing Your Message with Graphics. And we can put a description webinar about new graphics course for marketers. And we can make it public. So we leave it public, but we see that we can make it private, that only people with the link can see it, or private only to me. So we can even play around with that. But we're going to go ahead and make it public. We see here there's a category. So we probably choose business, but we can go through and see, you know, oh, there's is there social media down there. Investors, there's law, marketing, marketing. Um, Maybe marketing is better. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more. And then tags would be keywords. So maybe we would put graphics. We could put um, social media. Um, what else? Marketing. Probably enough for now. And then as you can see, as I'm doing different things, it's giving a score of like how well people will find it. So we might put... Uh, uh, royalty free images because we know that's talked about it so we can add different things oh okay that was a trick you need to do a keyword and hit graphics and then hit mm. enter so that's kind of interesting so social media we can just go ahead and click that and we can do marketing and click that and we could type photo, photos. So see how it's kind of getting mm -hmm. more and more up? So that's interesting. So we'll just leave it at that because we don't want to take too much time. And then what we can do is we can hit, let's look down here. We can add more uploads if we want, or we can hit publish. So let's just go ahead and hit publish. All right. So as we can see, 
Here, we could put more information about Launch for Life. We can make it so that people can download it. They can like it. They can share it. It's, and of course, if they share it, now we see that there's a link. So we can embed this on our website. We can share it to our Facebook uh, Facebook page. We can oh, put fantastic. it on We can do all sorts of different things. So we can actually even, I think, connect our Facebook page here to it. So share on your timeline. How about share on a page you manage? So let's get it to the Launch for Life page. There we go. And uh, here is a little slide show about our latest course. And then, boom, we've posted it to Facebook. Wasn't so, that easy. So that's kind of neat. So let's go through and kind of see how it is. So there we go. Here's our little slideshow that people can go through. And one of the nice things is make sure at the end that you always have a call to action. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. So people know how to contact you. And you see that people can make it large. And then this is kind of neat. There's this clipping slide, which means that you can actually clip that slide for later. And you could call it buying, I forgot what it said, buying images. And we could just put L for L slide. And we can save it. And so we now have that saved. And anybody can clip a slide. And then that way you have it. You can download it and have that slide and see it later. It's all sorts of different things. So now for Launch for Life, when people come in, we can go through and uh, we, you know, we just signed up today. So we don't have anything. And so we should edit our profile here. And you see that we can go in and we can put in... Um, I'd have to do my password and I don't want to do all that stuff now. But we can edit our profile to put our, our a description about our company. We can link it back to our website and all sorts of different things. And we actually, you know, in retrospect, one thing we should have is at the very end of this on our final slide. So let's go to the very, very end. On our final slide, we should have a call to action right here. Mm -hmm. And then that way it would, you know, link back to our website or something like this. So this was just a test for today, just to show you how, so we, we need to do some fixes before we actually are, are good with this, but it just kind of shows you it's not that hard and it's really very easy to do. Correct. Yep. Okay. So there you go. That's how easy it is to use SlideShare.